Hi, this is a short Photoshop tutorial video to show you how to use a dither pattern to blend two images together. Um, you can see there is a background image here and a foreground image and they're blended together using a um, dithered black and white mask. Uh, the reason I can't use transparent pixels is because I'm printing on a transparent um, plastic uh, that is overlaid over a, a trading card and uh, any pixel that is not 100% transparent will get a white primer layer under it. So any transparent pixel will have white behind it, which is, of course, less than ideal. It will not get good blending. Um, so the pattern I created for this is... Um, oh, no, keep making the same mistake. <laughs> is uh, this pattern. Uh, now I've extracted the um, required pieces into this bit. I'll uh, put this little image in the description, a link to it. It's uh, six steps of seven by seven pixels. Now, you only need to do this part as uh, uh, the first time you uh, you do this, because you'll have it set up in your um, Photoshop settings. So you want to select the first seven by seven piece, go to image, no, go to edit, <laughs> define pattern, and give it a name like uh, the other step zero or, or one. I've already defined it in, uh, in mine, so I'm not gonna do it again. But you do that for every step. Make sure you always have it centered, like that. So the the black dot is always centered and not off by one. Otherwise, you're gonna well, it's gonna be okay, but it's gonna look better if you have it centered. So once you have that done, I have two example images here that I want to blend. I have here this is the this is the background one and this is the foreground one. I'm just gonna put this one on here. Um, so the way you're going to do it is uh, create a new layer on top of it and uh, fill this with a color. Um, and we want to make sure we're not using the exact colors of our pattern. So I'm going to use an off-white. Just make sure it is definitely does not have any color because that's going to mess up with the posterize later. Um, and a background color, which is just off black. I'm going to fill it with white and then go to gradient swap the colors and select the second one the um, color to transparent one uh, i've uh, specifically chosen a corner piece so you can see that it doesn't just work for horizontal and vertical pieces uh, so we now have a uh, sort of a, a, a gradient thing what we could do for example we go uh, to mask and you can see oh well yeah it's blend it the wrong way you can see that this would work this blends using that mask um, but of course that's what transparent pixels so we're gonna posterize this we go to image adjustments posterize um, we have six steps in our um, dither so we also want to have the two endpoints black and white so we want to have eight steps. Um, now what you could do, you could clean up these uh, horizontal bits a bit. Oh. Um, but in this case, I'm not gonna do that. So now you have the specific steps in your um, transition that you need. Uh, I'm gonna create a new layer. Uh, so uh, right click on my image, color range and select the first step that is not one of the extremes. Now I'm going to select Fill uh, and go to Pattern and select one of my, uh, the, the leftmost one, fill that, deselect, color range, next one, fill, color range. Now you want to, uh, I didn't mention this the first time, I'm sorry. You, you want to make sure that fuzziness is set to zero. Otherwise you're going to be selecting transparent pixels um, on other layers and you want to make sure you only get this specific one. Uh, do that for every step. Color range, next one. you can see the pattern that is emerging here. I did kind of do it the wrong way around. <laughs> oh. 
but we could fix that. Last one, select. Now I'm just gonna select the paint bucket, select uh, white, and oh yeah, of course you want to make sure you're only filling on the part that you want to mask. Fill that. Take black. Fill that. There we go. That's fixed. Which actually, this is the right way around for the masking that we're doing. Um, this one is an old layer. This can go. So we now have a black to white transition pattern it doesn't look perfect like there's there's some sl bits sliced off of the pattern but it looks pretty good i find um, we want to select this i'm uh so i'm control clicking on the image to select all the pixels in it and i'm using uh control c to copy it now uh, this is the image we want to mask and I've put a mask on there um, and I'm using alt and clicking on it to show it now I'm pasting in my pattern that I just made and if you use ctrl T then it'll snap to where you want it and now we have a dither blended image I hope that was helpful hope I didn't go over anything too quickly but there you go good luck